So finally, it's over. The December 2025 court update is completely rolled out. And now we get to see how the dust settles. Now we get to figure out what do we do from here because a lot has changed. Now SEO, right, AIO, whatever you want to call it. If you want to rank your website online, you have to consider this right here, which we're going to go into multiple fan out queries. This is the term being talked about right now. This study says dramatically increases your chances of getting cited in AIOs. What, what is an AIO? Basically, if you want your website or your brand to show up in ChatGPT or AI overviews or any LLM, you need to consider this thing. Now, have you seen this? This is where it gets fun, it gets technical. It's gonna be intense, but we're gonna go over it here. Chat GPT query fan out analyzer. That is a mouthful. And on top of that, we're gonna create a bookmarklet. I didn't know what a bookmarklet was until I seen this thing, and it's awesome, it's powerful. What this is gonna enable us to do is figure out how does Chat GPT and the other AIs think? How do they perceive? How do they scrape online, right? SERPs, search results, to give users their information. Now, this isn't like an isolated thing. There's multiple people talking about fan out queries that if you can figure this out, you are more likely to show up in LLM, specifically GBT and Google AI overviews. In other words, if you want to be relevant for the future, you figure this out right here, right? We have charts, pretty charts, red, blue, white. I don't have enough time in this video to go over what all of this means, but listen, if we can build this little book marklet, it's gonna give us some information. So we're gonna come over here and I'll have a link in the description for this. And what you do basically is you come down, you scroll down here and it has all this code, right? I have not audited this code to make sure it's like kosher, I guess you could say, but listen, you know, use it at your own risk. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all of this. So we're gonna scroll down, copy this darn thing right here. And then what we're gonna do, can you see my mouse? We're gonna come up here, we're gonna right click in the bookmark bar. We're gonna go to add page, very simple. And right here, we're going to paste that code. You can you can name this whatever you want, ChatGPT query fan out analyzer, cool. Right there and done. So once we have that, we're gonna be able to use this tool so we can go to GPT and you're about to see how this all works. Now open up GPT, right? You can use any version of it. And what I ask, you can ask anything. This is what's cool. What are the best roofers in Dallas, Texas? So that's the query I'm asking right here. Ask anything, go experiment yourself. You can ask it anything because once it is done giving us information, and look, that's pretty cool. GPT is getting better, by the way. We can click this little bar here and what it does, and that's the bookmark that we made together, right? And what this does, it gives us tons of information. It's, it, <laughs> this is wild, right? Because it basically shows us how chat GPT thinks, which is super powerful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come column by column and kind of understand this better. We're gonna take our time with it. So here's the query we asked, what are the best roofers in Dallas, Texas? The model we use that parses it out is GBT 5.2. The queries, right, what does that actually mean? The queries that it used were best roofers in Dallas, Texas, top roofing companies, Dallas, Texas, highly rated roofing contractors, Dallas, Texas reviews, best roofers in Dallas, Texas. You know, it used different kind of derivatives of the same idea. Where did it use these, right? It goes online and it searches itself. So let's just take a hard pause right here. If GBT goes online and searches itself, it's scraping search results. Therefore, if we can do basic SEO principles well and show up where it is searching, then we're gonna rank on GBT, right? And here's some footnotes and entities, right? So here's a footnote source. We have this one, I'll click on it. So this is Yelp, if it ever loads, this is Yelp. Top 10 best roofing near Dallas, Texas with real reviews. Now, all of a sudden we know, okay, if I have a roofing company in Dallas, Texas, well, I better be showing up on this Yelp portion because, well, we know without a shadow of a doubt, GBT is using this. Let's come here. We have another source and I'm just doing this off the cuff, right? So it's actually citing an actual roofing website, which is interesting. Maybe, maybe there's copy on here that is saying that we are the best, right? Maybe they did their on-page SEO so well that GBT, when it scraped, it found these guys and like, yeah, let's do it. Um, all right, let's come to here. Forbes has a website that we need to consider, finding the best roofing contractors in Dallas. So this is typical, look right here, amazing. The, the 10 best roofers in Dallas, very, very interesting. So this is old school. I don't even want to say old school, but this is off-page SEO. Maybe you can purchase a slot with a website like Forbes. What we're seeing here is that GBT is just another kind of Google, 
right? Because if we can rank high in Google, rank high in Bing, we can rank high in ChatGPT. Now let's keep the fun going. What I want to know is what are the best pergolas for outdoor seating? So we just used the tool for a local SEO business, like that's local SEO. What I wanna do now is e-com, right? So what are the best pergolas for outdoor seating? And ChatGPT says, here's three of them, right? Interesting, we have Sam's Club, Backyard Discovery, and Home Depot as websites cited. And then we have a bunch of information. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click the bookmarklet again, which is a funny word to say, but that's what we're gonna do. And here we go. We have these two queries that it used, best pergolas for outdoor seating reviews, pergola outdoor seating. I wonder if that's to be parsed into two maybe right maybe i don't know basically i'm considering whether or not is that one query or two queries but if i'm you if i have a best pergolas website basically if i want to rank for this organically i'm going to make sure that i optimize exactly for what gbt searches for high intent queries basically when someone is typing in they want to buy a pergola i want to know what gbt how it perceives it right and here we go, we have this right here. Let's just see what it pulled. So we have this, this is a website that it thinks ranks really well for it. Nice infographic. We can start to reverse engineer our competition. Very, very powerful, right? Why wouldn't you use this? It's a free tool that someone put out. It's, it's, it's really excellent. Now we need to shift gears and hit on this right here, December core update aftermath. So all of this, the query fan out stuff came out during the core update, the recent one, and, and the game has changed big time. I told a client recently, and check this out, SEO, like five years ago, was definitely easy mode. Nowadays, SEOs were more like general online marketers. You have to do all the things now. YouTube, you have to do socials, you have to figure out GBT. If you want to rank on Google AI overviews organically, if you want to rank on LLMs such as GPT, you have to figure this out, everything. It's more of a holistic approach. So what is the aftermath and how can we make it happen? Pages that rank for the main topic, right? Whatever you want to rank for your main topic and related questions are much more likely to be cited by AI. Number two, ranking for related questions matters more for AI citations than ranking for the main keyword alone. Back in the day, we used to use tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, right? That works, you get the main keyword that you need to rank for, but you need to use your brain or use GBT to kind of ideate on what is the top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel stuff that we need to rank for. The more related topics you rank for, the more often AI will reference you. AI often cites sources that don't rank on page one, so rankings are not the only factor. And the best long-term strategy is covering a topic deeply, not chasing every keyword. This is query fan out, right? Listen, is this new? Nothing's new under the sun. Like the best SEOs five years ago, two years ago, we're already doing this. We were already doing proper content plans. But now, after the December core update, what I'm telling you, what I believe is going to separate everybody, right? There's gonna be people who win, SEOs who win, and those who do not win. And the ones who win are those who are gonna have a holistic approach for the website. You are gonna do all the things a real brand would do. And it will trump everything we talked about here because it will cover all the bases here regardless. Because think of it, if you had a YouTube channel for your pergola business, right? It doesn't have to be the best, but you're in, inevitably going to hit on all the topics that a consumer logically would want to know. Therefore, you're going to, you're going to figure out this. You're going to figure out all of it. So to sum all of this up, use that cool tool, that bookmarklet. And what I recommend is have a more holistic approach to your website. Do not just do the one thing over and over anymore. Like old school keyword research, it will work to a degree, especially if you have a local business or e-com. But Aside from that, right, and those, that will change too, right? AI is gonna eat everyone's lunch. But if you want to rank, you need a holistic approach. Now, what I'm gonna do in the Rank Expand Academy, if you've watched to this point, first off, thanks, right? Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Tell me what you're seeing uh, with your website, right? But in the Rank Expand Academy, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you kind of a more in-depth plan that I'm doing for clients right now, query fan out plus the December core update. I think these three right here, Wikipedia, Reddit, and YouTube are no brainers. If you can figure out how to leverage, and I'm gonna write it up in the Academy, how to leverage those three things well, Wikipedia, Reddit, and YouTube, then you are going to be ahead of the pack. A lot of people are gonna figure this out in a couple years. If you can figure it out now for your brand, for your e-com, for your local business, whatever. It doesn't matter what you are. If you wanna have visibility online, figure these things out. So I'm gonna write it up 
here. I'll have a link in the description if you want to join the academy. There's hundreds of people in here. It's one of the fastest growing school communities. We talk about how to make money online with AI.